And so uh, the motivation for Lyle Clark, the CEO, to make change came from not only the professional side, he was looking at the legacy of his business and his family's business, but also internally his personal um, uh, initiative. And that was he was having a, uh, I guess what you call a, a bit of an awakening. He was thinking about his legacy as well as what he was handing off to the next generation in terms of what type of company was I leaving behind and are we doing something as a business that is a sustainable business uh, overall. So sustainability and the word, the context, at the beginning of the engagement really start off talking about uh, environmental impact and then it quickly broadened in scope and scale to talk about sustainability as the enduring uh, attributes of the business. So we're going to spend some time here talking about uh, how sustainability helped them do three fundamental things. One, chart a new course for the company. Two, re-engage their employee base. And three, reinvent the, uh, the brand. Today I'm not going to go into the specifics about their sustainability plan. We're going to focus on these three elements. So our approach starts with uh, developing an understanding of, of a couple of fundamentals. Uh, and the most important fundamental is the customer base. Uh, a second uh, fundamental is the employee base. Third fundamental is the company, uh, so the business and the brand. And third is the competitive landscape. And so as we began charting our activities of charting a new course, it always starts with a discovery process. And so we did a number of activities to gather learnings that would eventually feed the strategic planning sessions. Uh, we did lots of different type of customer visits, for example. Um, sorry, I'm waiting for a screen refresh. Uh, we held customer panels where we invited uh, different types of customer base in to assess uh, their perceptions of Clark, their reactions to ideas and thinking. We did competitive reviews. Sorry, I'm waiting for a little bit of a screen delay here. Uh, lots of Clark facility visits. They have everything from service offices to R&D facilities. Employee surveys, so getting to deeply understand what were the employees' outlook on Clark as a company, as a culture, as a market leader, and of course their perspectives on sustainability and environmental uh, impact. Sales reps and customers ride along, and this is, I think is the first time that we've ever had the chance to do, um, uh, if you'll see here in a second, a fly along. We, uh, a lot of Clark services are applied by aerial means, and so this is an important uh, component of the business and understanding uh, what the sales rep uh, and the, the field uh, technicians do in their aerial applications and as a means of visiting customers, it actually became a very important component of, of understanding the Clark business. So ultimately, this provides us with loads of insights. Um, but I think you know a couple of big headlines are that from an internal perspective, Clark employees uh, had a number of positives. I'm sorry, I'm waiting again for my screen to refresh. Please bear with me a second. So I'm afraid this is, uh, I, I seem to be experiencing a little bit of difficulty, but uh, I'm gonna try to uh, forge ahead perhaps without the slides a little bit. I don't know, Thomas, if you might be able to try to advance the slide, that would be helpful. But a couple of the key findings, um, Okay, I, I understand that you all may be able to see the slides. Um, so hopefully you're on a slide that says uh, internal, and uh, we have some positives, that there's a great uh, family culture, that they felt it was a really great place to work at. Um, a number, up oh, here we go. There was strong loyalty within the business, and they felt that they were very good at what they were doing. And in fact, they were very highly ranked and rated in the industry for their emergency response as well. But on the uh, negative side, we saw that there were a number of feelings that, uh, and dynamics that were at play. They were a very siloed business in terms of their business units and how they operated. Uh, they were perceived as being very slow, outdated, and old. And while these, um, okay, I'm having another. Uh, hopefully, we are, here we go. So old school thinking, slow and outdated. 
I apologize for the delay here and, and perhaps the, uh, the confusion. But these were some of the internal perceptions that were very important for us to gather about what employees felt of the brand. Because as you'll see, uh, perhaps the most important aspect of taking on an initiative like this is being able to mobilize and change the thinking and behavior of your employees. On the subject of green, my next slide, um, there's some very surprising insights, uh, just a couple of them to highlight. 70% of the employee base thought that Clark wasn't doing enough to be green. Now, that wasn't a surprise, but what that told us was that the employee base was very aware of, of green as a business practice. And the good news was that over 83% of them were actually doing recycling or some sort of environmental activity at home. That gave us a great starting point. Externally, what we learned was that Clark had amazing customer service. Their relationship was deeply held with the rep, not with the company. Uh, so they didn't know Clark as a business. And they had extremely long-standing relationships. Sometimes uh, some sales reps and field technicians would, for example, go to the weddings of their customers. But on the subject of green, it was a very different story. And this was extremely insightful. Uh, we have kind of three basic uh, customer personas that were developed. Uh, from an urban uh, type of uh, a, a customer to a, a more rural. And their customer base is primarily municipalities, so like local government leaders and officials, public health officials, and mosquito abatement districts. We expected that uh, there would be some difference in opinion on the subject of green and what it meant to them. But what we were very surprised to see, and this was very important because mosquito abatement districts, or on your right-hand side of your screen, you see MADS. They actually viewed this as a sustainability as a negative force. That was something that uh, implied that they weren't already environmentally conscious. And they actually took this to heart. They took offense at it because by their, uh, by their training and by their studies uh, for academic uh, career, they believe that by nature, they were environmentally responsible. They follow EPA guidelines. Uh, they grew up in rural communities where um, agricultural practices like uh, applying fertilizers and things were the norm. So we were very su surprised to see that there was, in fact, resistance to the concept. That gave us a very clear um, and important insight. On the other side of the equation, we thought we would see more uh, support for the concept of green initiatives and or sustainability. However, 10%, only 10%, really viewed this as a positive uh, force. The majority of our audience was very apathetic, and that uh, surprised, surprised us in terms of the, the numbers. So key point to make is look, ask, and listen, never assume. Um, we are firm believers that the customer is the place to look, observe, ethnographic studies, um, phone interviews, surveys, whatever means you have to learn about your customer base, learn it, especially if you're undertaking an initiative uh, such as an environmental sustainability type of initiative. It's a very sensitive subject. Um, and as you will see, if you execute and begin to implement against that uh, without understanding what is important to your customer, there could be some serious missteps or missed opportunities. So as we gathered a, a number of inputs, we had the base discovery work completed and we were able to begin our strategic planning process. Uh, the way that we uh, architect strategic plans is through a series of workshops with client leadership. Um, so our, our very first uh, workshop we talked with Lyle, we let him know that we were going to be kind of pushing the envelope. And quite often uh, in some of the activities that we do, we are really testing uh, the moral character and commitment of individuals as well as uh, the organization.